You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for our Black and White Sports. Well, anytime that anything negative comes out about Bomani Jones, I'm probably going to do the video because, well, he's a race hustler and a race baiter and he, he pretty obviously hates white people. He's sort of like uh, Jamel Hill, and uh, except uh, he actually still has a real platform. He's on over on HBO, and he still works for ESPN. Why? I don't know, because the ratings on everything that he touches is putrid. The only uh, actual excuse I can think of as to why these platforms keep him is because, frankly... They're scared to get sued and or called a racist, right? Let, let me pull Brian Flores, sue ESPN or HBO for racial discrimination or some shit like that. Uh, but his shows draw no ratings, okay? And one of his shows literally had Stephen A. Smith leading into it, and he lost all of Stephen A.'s audience. What does that tell you? And the other thing is we get to talk about Jake Paul, who is out there as a boxer, and at first, I didn't know how serious Jake Paul, a YouTuber, was actually going to be about boxing. And we have found out that both Logan, who is in the WWE, and frankly, wow, and Jake in boxing have de decided to take their new disciplines extremely serious. And it gives me an excuse to, my God, show this clip from the... Uh, the Royal Rumble that I watched the other night. This is Logan and Ricochet at the Royal Rumble. I get to show this. I mean, yeah. Come on, bro. Let's do it. Let's do it. And this is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And as you can figure, that prompted a holy shit chant. Because, damn. Damn. Jake Paul was on with Bomani Jones. And it was everything that we hoped it might be. Jake Paul destroyed Bomani Jones. Destroyed him. This is OutKick. And don't worry, we got a clip to this. Because to say Jake Paul is... Uh, Completely confused and has no idea who the hell Bomani Jones is. Rightfully so, judging by the ratings, nobody else knows either, Jake. He was just wondering why the hell he was actually on this show because it was pretty clear to him pretty quickly Bomani Jones didn't have much credibility to him whatsoever. And Bomani Jones probably hates Jake Paul because Jake is white. Man, he's dominating everything that he punches right now. He's 6-0, and real boxers are saying, yeah, this kid's the real deal. He is the real deal. The start to the second season of Race Theory with Bumani Jones, Race Theory, is notable. Never before has an original HBO series experienced the numbers it has, and we mean that not in a good way. By the way, I believe Bill Simmons' show on HBO was canceled with, with much better ratings. But Bomani Jones somehow has been able to keep this. Bomani is losing more than 80% of his lead-in audience. He's not charting on cable. Think about that. When they released the cable ratings... There's a list like this long. I don't even know how many deep of all these shows on cable. He doesn't even show up on it. He's losing to infomercials in totality. Kid you not. In fact, it took until this week for the program to make any noise. And again, not in a good way. HBO released a clip from an upcoming episode of Race Theory in which Bomani Jones interviews YouTube star... And boxer Jake Paul. And to say that Jake Paul's got a much bigger reach, both in the ring and in the actual platforms of society, that's the understatement. Okay, he's got 20 million YouTube subs. All right, now that's a hell of a reach. 
Bomani Jones isn't a fan of Paul. In parentheses, and I don't, Bobby Burak, we can always count on him for a good, probably because he's white. Good job, Bobby. During the discussion, Jones tried to demean him. It didn't work. And when I tell you, Jake Paul clowned Bomani Jones's ass, it was beautiful. After Tommy Fury, where do you go from there? Like, what happens if you lose one of these fights? Um, I, I don't plan on losing, you know, I, I don't train to lose. Um, maybe that, I, I feel like that's probably like your mindset, you know, a lot of- <laughs> hell you're losing in the ratings. Might as well be, might as well be part of your mindset. Jake can feel that loser, loser vibe just oozing off of Bomani Jones. A lot of people try to project their mindsets no, on the No, I ain't no projected of a mindset. My question is, this has worked because we're all surprised that you keep winning these fights, right? But if somebody does beat you, how much interest stays in this when it stops being surprised? They won't. They won't. And and I'm going to be honest, bro. I don't know who the fuck you are. My PR team said, <laughs> Dude, set up this interview. All I know about you is that people don't like you. <laughs> oh, shit. Jake Paul. Says, I don't know who the F you are. Judging by the ratings, neither does anybody else, dude. I wouldn't know who Bomani Jones was if Dan Lebetard hadn't had him and pushed him all those years on his radio show. I wouldn't have known. You know, as much hate as I like to throw in Dan, Dan Lebetard's direction, Dan Lebetard pulled some ratings. He did. Bomani Jones? No. Nah. No. Nah. Not even Dan Lebitard's crowd watches Bomani Jones. And that's a bunch of woke MFers, let me tell you. He began by asking the boxer what happens when you lose. We're all surprised that you keep winning fights. No, that's, that's not going to insult anybody. He said, I don't plan on losing. I don't train to lose. That's probably your mindset. A lot of people try to project their mindsets on me. Projecting, no doubt. As for calling Bomani a loser, Bomani is winning in the sense that he has used race and supposedly anti-racist commentary to secure several television roles. ESPN and HBO have granted him a lengthy leash. However... He's losing in the sense of what success in the media is. Ratings and popularity define the business. The fact is, if you don't pull eyeballs, you don't get to keep shows. But for whatever reason, Bomani Jones gets to keep his shows. Something we we all kind of know why. We know why that's happening. And Jones is the bottom of the barrel. A multi-failure at that. His last four stops include setting an ESPN radio low in the afternoon. He set a new ESPN low for record low ratings in the afternoon. Not to mention, I can't even tell you how many actual stations around the country came off his show. Just was like, nah, we'll find something else to air during that slot. Losing a damning percentage of Stephen A. Smith's television audience on ESPN at noon with record lows. Getting canceled for record lows at 4 p.m. on ESPN. This is a hell of a feat, too. Tanking 80% of John Oliver's lead-in ratings during his first season on HBO, it should be noted... John Oliver is a leftist and can't even keep that woke audience around for Bomani Jones. The wokes don't even want to watch Bomani Jones. Tanking 80% of Bill Maher's lead-in ratings during his second season on HBO. I mean, that's impressive. On the scales of failure, that's impressive. Suffice to say, Jake Paul appears to be accurate in stating Bomani is projecting his losses onto others. Later, Paul tells Bomani 
He didn't even know who he was. I'm going to be honest, bro. I don't know who the F you are. My PR team set up this interview. Based on Bomani Jones' ratings on ESPN Radio, ESPN TV, and HBO, neither does the public. And if they know him, they certainly don't like him. Paul's comment appeared to offend Jones. However, he fired back in his signature third grade squeal by pretending he didn't know who Jake Paul was either. Dude, all I know about you is that people don't like you, Jones responded. Tough to hear Bomani say people don't like somebody else. Again, his ratings. As for the unlikable Paul, he seems to be doing fine. He draws over one million pay-per-view buys on a fight. He boasts a YouTube page with 20.3 million subscribers. Jake Paul is a phenomena and a showman, so is his brother. He's the leading draw in combat sports. Bomani Jones is a race hustler and a ratings, I assume killer is what he was looking for, position, race hustler, ratings position. Jake Paul might eventually, might lose eventually as Jones predicts. Most fighters do, but he certainly didn't lose this sit down. Perhaps Bomani will accept the L should the interview allow him to maintain a, an improvement of 23% of his lead in this week. Look, certain people in media just to get, get to keep their jobs strictly because of their race. Bomani Jones, Joy Reid. They're the two I can think of right off the bat. Plain and simple. The ratings aren't great, and they blatantly hate them some white folks and they get to keep their platforms but Monty Jones is even more baffling at it because he's been failing upwards for years now I mean it was like okay his his success at ESPN has been non-existent and HBO gave him a show I mean, it's phenomenally weird and then have allowed him to keep said show that doesn't draw ratings. I mean, damn. Damn. And for the record, I mean, you know, we draw more ratings. <laughs> I mean, we draw more eyeballs. We're on YouTube without 20 million subs for crying out loud. It's crazy as hell. But he certainly got worked out of the ring by Jake Paul. Good job, Jake. It's about time that somebody stands up to somebody like Bomani Jones and just calls him out. You're a clown and nobody knows who the fuck you are, including me. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you go over and check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. 25% off USA First. 25% off USA First. Go now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.